Hello guys, this is Debson Ishmael. Today let's take a look at how to create some kind of navigation with CSS animations as well as events in it. So to show you what I mean, I already have a page open here. And then when you look at the top right hand side corner, we have some kind of navigation here. And when I click on this, there is a navigation which comes with a very beautiful effect. And then the navigation, that is the navigation icon here goes away. Now when I go ahead and close this, then this shows back. When I click on this, this comes with its beautiful um, that is effect or animation here. Now let's take a look at how to achieve this in WYSIWYG Web Builder. So I have my project here and uh, let me just come to my object manager and show you what actually went on here. So as you can see, this is the layer which contains this items in it and each one has a kind of that is CSS animation set to it as well as this is um, the menu icon here which has an event which is controlling this so let's just take a look at how to achieve this in WYSIWYG Web Builder. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a new page and then create everything from start. So I'll click here, let me just create a new page. I'll come to my layer. Let me just um, look for the layer to here. I'm going to click on the layer and draw here. So I'm going to change the size of this to about that is um, this is going to be 280 by 550 pixels that is the size i want for this particular layer now i'm going to double click on this and set some kind of box shadow for it so i'll come to box shadow and then i'm going to set a blur of about three pixels i'm going to change the color to let's just select this gray here now i'm not going to apply any um figure to that is the x or y because i want this um layer here to have that is a total or a full box shadow so when i click on this you can see the box shadow is across or that is all over the sides of the layer now I'll come back here let me just come back to my two box and what i'm going to bring in next is going to be a test so i'm going to draw here and then i'm going to change this test to home so let me just uh, make this home i'm going to highlight of this and then select that is the heading um, style tag 2 let me just reduce the size of this a bit double click on it and set the alignment to center now let me move this into this layer here i'm going to make a copy of this using ctrl c and using ctrl v to paste it let me double click on this and change this to let me just make this about s uh, about alone will do so let me just move this here i'm going to paste another one and i'm going to change this one to services so this is going to be services i'm going to move that here I'm going to paste another one to this is going to be portfolio let me just go ahead and expand it a little bit move it into this layer i'm going to paste another one which is going to be let's just make this contact now let me move this also into this layer now i'm going to select these um elements or this test i have in here so i'm going to first click on this holding on the shift key i'm going to select this select this select this and then select this i'll come to arrange and then i'm going to distribute that is vertically equally or have equal spaces between them then i'm going to move them making sure it is in the middle of my layer let me just move them a little bit to this position that's in the middle that's okay now i'll come back to my toolbox and then i'm going to look for material icon so let me just um, look for my material icon i'm going to draw here so let me just double click on this and then i'm going to change or locate close so i'm going to scroll through the icons i have in here and then i should find clear so clear instead i'm going to change the color to this theme gray and then this is going to be this uh, that is this deep black here i'm going to change the size for it to that is i'm um, going to be 25 by 25. let me just uh, make it 30 by 30 instead so it will be a bit visible and then I'm going to move it to the top right hand corner at this section of my layer. Let me just move it some few pixels to the right. So let me reposition this. And then I'll come back to my two books. I'm going to select the material icon again. So I'm just going to bring in something here to serve as my, that is logo. So I'm just going to go through this and then I'll just select this one. And then I'm going to position that here. So that is going to serve as my logo. Now I'm going to come back here and then I'm going to get another layer. So let me just come to my toolbox, look for the layer 2. And then I'm going to bring in a layer here. So the size of this layer is going to be, let me just expand this a bit and then position it at the bottom section of my layer here. And then I'm going to come to my toolbox. 
I'm now going to locate that is a uh, let me just come to my two box let like this I'm going to look for the font or some icons I'll click on it draw here double click on it and then I'm going to locate Facebook so I'm going to select this Facebook I'm going to leave it as it is and then change the size for it so this is going to be 25 by 25 pixels and then I'm going to make a copy of it I'll paste that here I'm going to change this to Twitter so I'll scroll through my icons and then I'm going to identify Twitter so let me just go a little bit then I select Twitter let me just copy it one more time and paste it and then I'm going to change this to maybe YouTube so let me just select YouTube this is going to be okay and then I'm going to move these three icons into my layer here so let me just bring this also here let me move this a few pixels close to the Facebook icon I'll keep this a little bit close holding on the shift key I'm going to select the three icons and then I'm going to distribute spaces evenly between them that is um, horizontally and I'm going to position them that is both horizontally and vertically and the small layer I have in here so that is it and then I'm going to come back here let me just bring another layer so I'm going to bring a layer here I'm going to change the size of this layer to 60 by 60 pixels and then I'm going to double click on it. I'll come here first of all set the alignment to center. I'll come to style and then I'm going to change the background color of the layer to this black here. I'll go ahead and hit on an OK. And then let me just position that here. Now let me just double click on this and set the mode to that is it's going to be a docking layer. And then I'm going to select center boot. So I'll go ahead and change the alignment also to center. And then I'll hit on an OK. Now come back to my two box. I'm going to locate the material icon. So I'll click on it and then this time around I'm going to locate the menu so let me just locate menu here and then I'm going to change the color of this to this white and then I'll select this color that is on hoover I'll go ahead and hit on OK now I'm going to change the size of this to about 30 by 30 pixels that's OK and then I'm going to move that into this layer I have in here now I'm going to double click on this layer and then I'm going to change the mode to sticky layer and then I'm going to set the delay to zero pixels and then I'll hit on OK. It's now time for me to add the animations as well as the events I want to add to this particular project. So first of all, I'm going to right click on this test here and then I'm going to go to Object Properties. Now when I come to Object Properties, I'm going to go to CSS3 Animation and then I'll hit on Add. So under Add, I'll click on the drop down arrow by Animation. And then I'm going to select that is animate fading up. So that is the effect or animation I want to use. Now the duration is going to be 500 pixels. That is for the first test. And then I'm going to change the interaction count to one pixel. So let me just make this one pixel. And then I'll hit on OK. Now I'll go ahead and hit on OK. I'll right click on this test also. Come to object properties, CSS animation. And then I'm going to add this. So let me just change this to 600. This is going to be 600. The reason why I'm setting this to 600 is because I want a situation whereby this test comes in first and then this follows, this follows, this follows, and then this follows. So I'm going to change this one also to the same animation that is animate fading up. This is going to be one pixel and then I'll hit an OK, hit an OK. I repeat the process for this one. Come to object properties, CSS animations. I'm going to add and then this is going to be animate fading up. This is going to be one pixel and then this is going to be 700. So let me just change this to 700. Hit an OK, hit an OK. I'm going to repeat that for this also. Come to Object Properties, that is CSS Animation. I'll hit on Add. Come to, that is Animate Fading Up. This is going to be one pixel, and then this is going to be 800. And then I'll hit an OK, hit an OK. And I'm going to repeat that process for this test also. I'll come to CSS Animation, hit on Add. I'm going to change this to one pixel, and then this is going to be 900. This is going to be Animate Fading Up. And then I'll hit an OK. I'll go ahead and hit an OK also. Now let me double click on this layer because I want to have some kind of effect set to this layer also. So I'll double click on this layer. Come to CSS3 animation. I'll hit on add. This time around I'm not going to make this 1000. Instead I'm going to set this auto to about 700. So that it comes with one of the tests I have in here. So I'm going to change this to one pixel. And then that is one here. And then I'll hit on OK. I'll go ahead and hit an OK. Now I'm going to rename this layer here so that I can apply my event to the layers I have in here. So this is going to be nav layer. So I'm going to rename this to nav layer. And then I'm going to change this to menu layer. 
and then I'm going to double click on this. So when I double click on this and I come to events, what is the event I want to set here? So I want a situation where by when I click on this, this layer is going to be hidden and then this layer is going to be shown. So let's see how best you can go about it. So the first event is going to be on click. What is going to be my first event? I want this layer to hide. So I'm going to click on the drop down arrow and select hide rate effect. And then the target is going to be the nav layer. Now the effect is going to be fade. And then I'm going to leave this. The length is going to be 500. The easing, I can change this, but I'm going to leave this on linear. And then I'll hit on OK. Now I'll come back here and create another event. This time around, this is going to be show with effect. And which one am I going to show? I'm going to show this menu layer. So I'll select this. And then this is still going to be fade. The length is going to be 500. Then the easing is going to be linear. I'll go ahead and hit on OK. Hit on OK. Now I'll come here and repeat the process for this. So I double click on this. And then the event is going to be when i click on this what is going to happen i want this to show so i select this on click then this is going to be show with effect so let me just select show with effect and select the nav layer i'll go ahead and select fade and then i'll leave this as it is here and then i'll go ahead and hit on ok i'm going to repeat that process but this time around this is going to be hydrate effect and then the target is going to be the nav layer I'm sorry, the menu layer instead. And then this is going to be fade. So I'll go ahead and then hit on OK. So let's just hit on OK again. Now, let me hide this layer. So I'll go ahead to my object manager. And then I'm going to hide this layer. Now, I'll let me just double click on this and make sure I change this to the right uh, property. So this is going to be sticky layer. And then orientation is going to be but um, that is top right. So let me select top right instead of top left and then I'll hit on OK. Now let's go ahead and hit on F5 or preview this project in our browser. And as you can see, I have my uh, this menu icon here showing. When I click on it, it hides and then it shows me this layer. And as you can see, there's some kind of effect. Let me just do this again. I click on this and as you can see, the test moves in in a very slow and a beautiful way. Now you can change the properties from what I selected that is animate fading up to something different and then at the end of the day you are going to achieve the same result. So thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.